and welcome to Snapshot. I'm your host, Alan Wolf. And on this edition, we're going to respond to you. You know, over the last few years that Snapshot has been on the air, many of you have written letters to me or perhaps called me on the phone and said, you know, Alan, there are some things that, while we really like Snapshot a lot, there, there are some things we'd really like to see change. One of them was my face. Another one was my hair. Another complaint came about my fingernails. So we came here to Carl Gables to the Rudy Magaldi hairstylist, where he said that they could do a complete makeover. And that's what we invite you to come with us today to see. I kind of don't think I need one, but many of you did. So come on along as we do a complete makeover on me here on Snapshot. Well, here we are inside the Rudy McGaldy hairstyling salon in Coral Gables, Florida. And, you know, most of the time, most of my life, I've thought that hairstyling salons were really for women, but they're for men too. Rudy, thank you very much for having us here today. Thank you. Uh, Rudy's gonna, gonna make me over because you have asked for it. And what are we going to do first today? Are we gonna do a shampoo or a haircut or, uh, or what? Yes. The first is the shampoo. Okay. Dry. Just a little change for a little color. So I look I look okay right now, but we need some work. Yeah, but and you need something different today. <laughs> oh, okay. I need something different. <laughs> okay. Okay. And different change color, just a little bit. Oh, to, to change to color? Do. You yeah. didn't ask for that, but hey. The we're little gonna gem, just a little gem, uh -huh. okay? And new style in the haircut. Okay. You need this to look different, beautiful for oh, your Oh, I need hair. to look different. Everybody's a comedian on Snapshot. Well, okay. come on along as we go for the first step on the Alan Wolf Makeover. As you can see, I have assumed my position in the uh, shampoo chair. I've also assumed my traditional uh, hairstyling kimono, for lack of a better term. And Rudy Magaldi is, at this very moment, analyzing my hair to determine what color it needs to be, what the texture is, and what he needs to do. And we have a very special guest who's going to help us today with translations. Thank Judy Dejavaja, and thank you so much yeah, for being nice with us, you. Judy. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm in for a treat, and so is the audience today, because uh, Rudy is the best. He certainly is. Yeah, Rudy Magaldi here in Carl Gables is somebody I know, by the end of this show, you're going to want to come visit, man or woman. That's something I didn't know either. Well, Rudy's, uh, basically, he's checking out my hair now to see exactly what he's going to do. Now, I must tell you that when I do Snapshot, what I do is put a little hairspray on my hair just in case I'm outside, which Rudy has to remove from my hair, as well as some makeup. I mean, I, I, I do look good without it. Of course, I wonder about that. People come up to me all the time and they look at me but never say, aren't you Alan Wolf? Maybe the makeup really does make me look better. In any case, we're going to have some even better makeup today. So uh, we're about to start the shampoo. Uh, how long, basically, does the analysis take? How many minutes, Rudy? Many minutes for... For this, for this analysis. For, uh, not too much, maybe five or ten minutes. Okay. That's it, but this is very natural, this is temporality. Okay, well, our next stop is actually right here on the shampoo. Don't go away. Here I am getting my hair shampooed. They're getting all that nasty hairspray out that uh, you have to use on television. And uh, <clears throat> this is really refreshing, I must admit. And I, I must tell you that I have never before been in a hairstyling salon. I've, I've gone to a barber, so it's really neat to know that men can go here too. So right after the shampoo is finished, we're going to go to the rinse. Judy, earlier we were talking about some of the health concerns that people have nowadays 
One of those, of course, is having clean tools that are used by the hair stylist. And I understand that they use a special disinfectant for that as well as machines. Yes, they do. They are very, very careful. They use uh, disinfectants and uh, electric machines for brushes. Everything is sterilized. Sterilizers, in Absolutely. effect. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I noticed uh, that Rudy and all of the people here at Rudy Magaldi's salon are really careful about that. Absolutely. Especially nowadays with all of the potential disease out there. And I would imagine also, Judy, that there are probably laws that govern that as well. Definitely. Would you, would you say that when people do go to a hairdresser, no matter what city they're, they're watching in, they really should be cognizant of, of how the tools are cleaned and sterilized? I think we have to watch everything these days to make sure that things are in order, and definitely. Okay, well, we're, we're doing the shampoo now, and we're about to do the rinse as we move on. Don't go away. Well, the shampoo and the rinse are finished, <laughs> and, and now comes the part where Rudy Magaldi is going to change the color of my hair from magnificent silver, as I like to call it, some of you might have called it gray hair, to, uh, to sort of a, Judy, come here again if you will. Sure. Uh, what, what color is he making my hair at this point? Rudy, ¿qué, qué color le estás dando? Es un poco, poco simplemente es apagarle el blanco que tiene. There, he just wants to give the that beautiful, natural oh, yes. look. Oh, thank you, Judy. Just a little <laughs> bit of a matte finish, you know, just to tone it a little bit, to give well, it a little Judy bit. Judy won't end up on the editing room floor, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that wonderful description of my what will now be previous hair color. Right. Is there ever a problem for people who have allergies? Should they at least tell their hairdresser that they may be allergic to, to one of these chemicals? Absolutely. Um, the beauty business has changed so much. They're so into the natural products and you know people are very, very afraid of allergic reactions. Certainly. So most products are very natural. But if a person has that problem, definitely they should let someone know Now this immediately. chemical is not a dye, Rudy no. told me. It's, it's more of a, a rinse, kind exactly. of. Exactly. Yeah. What's it called? What's the the real name of this stuff? Uh, Rudy, ¿qué lo que es el nombre? What do you think producto? so far, folks? Yes. I hope you'll let me know how you like this when we're finished. Mm -hmm. Color sham. You it's can this. always call us, you know. Yes, e color como? sham. This and shampoo. Uh huh, shampoo. Yeah. This is very soft. This is nothing. It's not a hard chemical. Yeah, not. It's a very gentle chemical. Yeah. Well, look at this, folks. What do you think? Mm -hmm takes 20 years off me. That would make me 10 years old, wouldn't Definitely. it? Definitely. <laughs> and of course, it really makes a difference to have a, a true professional doing this. Mm. No question about that, Judy. Definitely, that is what you need, somebody that's... And uh, it just, it basically feels kind of like water. Well, after the hair coloring is finished, we move on to the hair styling and cut. Well, here I am, the wonderful, beautiful, natural gray, as Judy described it, is, it's gone. And now we have to get the excess product actually out of my hair so that we can move on to the next stage. And they rinse it just with water. So that's what we're going to do now. How does it feel to be in a beauty shop? Different. Different, huh? Well, you're going to look different any moment. It's going to be very natural. The product is very natural. It doesn't harm you. And
it's uh it'll wash out yeah and it's it's, it's striking that's for sure definitely definitely <clears throat> no he's not going to make it a severe color. I mean, you know, a jet black as it looked when you had it wet. It'll oh, so lighten natural up. black is somewhat different than a jet black. Oh, yes, because this is not a permanent It's amazing dye. that you could cover that, that gray. Yeah, well, as it's shampooed out, it becomes lighter. It'll be lighter. It will not be that jet black look. Right, Rudy? Is that correct? It comes out lighter. So is, uh, actually, <clears throat> it only starts coming out when you use shampoo, not just water? Uh, if I'm in a swimming pool, is it going to come right out? Rudy, el que no sabe si está en la piscina, si se le va a caer. So it's not going to discolor the pool. As, the sh as you wash your hair, the, the color gets, gets more faded, in other words. Now, if you like it, Alan, he can do it permanent for you. <laughs> well, we'll have to see how we like it. Right. We'll have to see how the folks at home like it. Lo que le estamos tratando de hacer es, lo que le hemos pedido hacer es cambiarle, dejándole su tono de cana, pero no tan blanco, sino que se vea una cosa menos, más, natural. más natural, menos blanco. Eso es lo que hemos querido hacer. Lo que quieren hacer es que they just wanted to tone down your your hair color to give it a, a more a natural but a toner down. Toned they toner down. They certainly like did. The, you know, they toned it down all right. Right. ¿Qué color es lo que él tenía antes? Es so, uh, white. White. Es white. Sí, they just wanted to... No tiene grisáceo. Now... It is 85% white, the hair, natural. Mm -hmm. You will have it now, almost 60%. Uh-huh. Yeah. So there's words, still a little bit of white tone. left. Oh, definitely. Very, we very We wouldn't want to do that. Okay, come on, me now. Okay. Well, next stop is the hairstyle and haircut. Let's go. Okay. I have now had the excess product removed from my hair. It is a much toned down version of the, uh, the I like to call it silver hair that I had before. And I understand, Judy, that there is a, a product uh, that actually can make this permanent, that this will come out within a matter of, of a couple of weeks. I understand there is some permanent product that can be used also. Any, any problems with that? Any advantages, disadvantages? Well, the, the advantage is that it doesn't lighten up. It doesn't, does not fade as much as this will, because this product that you're using has no peroxide in it. And the peroxide is the fixative, I guess. That, Correct. That keeps it. Mm -hmm. Now, what, the roots, of course, as they would come in, they would be the natural hair color. Exactly. And so you'd need a, a touch-up. Exactly. Exactly. What would, would Rudy actually recommend if a person wanted to keep their hair the color that the rinse made it? Rudy, ¿qué recomendadas para hacer si una persona quisiera dejar este color permanente? ¿Qué es lo que tú recomendarás que hicieran? The color. Regular color. Regular color. Yes. En vez de este color. Yes. ¿Por qué razón? Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Porque, ¿Por qué razón? Porque es, no. es depende a lo que la persona quiera. Yo para la primera vez que una persona va a hacer el color, yo quiero que try to prove it primero. Rudy is uh, uh, the type of person that if a person comes in and has a very extreme white and wants to go to another color, he likes to do it in steps. Because Mine would have been extreme, correct? Right. It, definitely from the color of your hair to go into a black is very difficult for you to accept. Yeah, okay, you have, excuse me, you have it, white hair. White hair, right. Today and Black hair tomorrow for the people. Is yeah, I'm sure it would be a shock to you. 
chalk. Imagine white hair you one day, the next moment yeah. it's black. It's, no, it doesn't see you have rinse, you try. You try and see how you feel. Right. So, so a I, rinse is, is not permanent and you can give it a try like I'm yeah. doing. It's very soft. You need light more. You have liquid or two quid, a little more. Eat just is different, but just a little different. So you can add to it so the change is yes. gradual, yes. not immediate. You know, exactly. like, like you, you think I came out of the, the crypt or something. But uh, this is really an amazing process, and I must say I've never had anything like this done before. Well, our next stop on this grand behind-the-scenes tour here at Rudy Magaldi's Hairstyling in Coral Gables is an analysis of my skin to determine what yeah. makeup will be best. The air dances with the waters, which brings the rain that feeds the land, that is home to the animals. All life dances together. In a world so connected, choosing one environmental cause can be hard. EarthShare is 40 environmental charities working together. You and your company can help by calling 1-800-MY-SHARE. All life lives or doesn't together. I know it's really difficult now to remember what I looked like, but as, as you can see right now, this is what I looked like prior to my what is called a rinse rather than a permanent kind of a dye situation. But this is me, and this is me now. What do you think? It's, it's really different, Rudy. It's really different, but it's, it, it's not drastic. Wow. Right. This is a very important. Very no, important. Very important. We, no, do, and shock. we don't yeah. want we don't want to shock people, yeah. right, Judy? No, definitely not. We don't want the family to say, "Who's that?" or or, yeah. or you, yeah. for that matter. Or the friend or whatever the office, everybody. What happened? <laughs> and you know what's interesting to me, Rudy and and Judy and all of you, that my hairstyle is somewhat different than it was before. Let's take another look at what it was before, the style. And you can see that now it's different, but not drastically different. I like it. I like it, Judy. What and do you I, think? I think you look great. You look like well, you've we'll taken a vacation. We'll have to have her on more often, won't we? <laughs> you look like you've Say that again. You look like you've taken a well, vacation and you're very What was arrested. that other word you used? Great was the word? You look great. Oh, great. Okay. Absolutely I just want to make great. sure I understand no, the word properly. No, definitely great. Okay. <clears throat> well, the, the next step in this process, and before we do that, I want to talk about what this would cost. Yes. The cost is for shampoo and hair color for men is $18. Yeah. And Only $18 ring. for all yes. of that? Yes. A lot and of work. Shampoo and set to blow right all over. And, and the color and the color in rings is twenty dollar. All over is thirty dollar. Thirty eight. Thirty eight dollars total yes. for all I have had. That's incredible, Judy. That's incredible. Is it is. Yeah, I, I really, I, I'm really pleased with what I see so far. And of course, we'd like to hear from you too. And anytime you want to call us, you know, you can do that. If you take a look on the screen right now, you'll see our phone number. It's four six zero five five two one. Let us know what you think of uh, Alan's new hairdo or anything that you have to say about our show. Well, the next part of the show, Judy, is sending me to where? The makeup well, man? The makeup man introducing uh, Israel Villancier. Israel? Yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Israel so much. is the makeup man. Thank you so much, Thanks. Rudy. And we'll see you later. All Beautiful right. job. Thank you. Okay, Israel, some makeup for me. I understand that, and I didn't know this, that people, other than people who work in television who really need makeup, and what you're seeing now, Rich, if you can get kind of a tight shot here on my, as Judy put it, my, my great look. But now look at my face. You've never seen me without makeup on television. I always use it. I have none on now. And you're going to see the change as the first thing that Israel does is analyzes my skin. Well, I hope that's not too difficult of a process. Uh, Judy just gave me kind of a strange look. Is my skin, it's pretty bad without makeup, huh, folks? Take a look. It does have a few imperfections. 
you know, just a few. But Israel's going to cover that. I also understand, Judy, that men do makeup to go to parties now, that it's an accepted thing. Definitely. Yeah. Men want to look as that? good as ladies. You yeah. Know, and, uh, well, we have to. And, and, and of course, we have the uh, components of aging like everybody else. You should see my cameraman, Rich Umansky, talk about looking old. Oh, you got to see this guy one of these days. Well, let's get on with it. Israel would like for us to do an, ana an analysis, as you said, okay. about your skin. Let's do it. Para saber qué tipo de cremas de usar, él, él tiene eh, la piel mixta. You have mixed skin. Oh, I have mixed skin. So. Uh, I wonder what it's mixed with. Mixed es que parte es seco, graso, parte. Graso y seco. I think it's called a T zone, mm. which is part of your skin is oily and the other part is normal. I see, so, so it's mixed skin. Okay, I have mixed T -zone skin. skin. I didn't know that. Uh, I'll bet you didn't know that either. <laughs> but we're glad that we have a professional doing all of this. Definitely. Okay. Lo, lo más importante es pues, que nosotros los hombres no, no creemos que no debemos cuidar nuestra piel y es un error. He said a very important thing is men need to realize that they too have to care for their skin. Men, all of you men out there will agree, I think, that we really don't think too much about that. Again, those of us who work in television try to cover up the, the best we can so everything looks smooth. Again, this is the only time you have ever seen me without makeup and probably would be the only time that you ever do. Well, let's go on now with the analyzation of my skin, if we can. Are we ready? Vamos a tratar de... What are we going to do, Israel? Vamos a tratar de hacerle un maquillaje que le disimule todas las manchas que tiene en la piel y las líneas de expresión. I would translate this, but I'm going to let Judy do it. Well, I might need your help, Alan. This okay. is a little complicated here. What he plans on doing is to put makeup on to cover those little discolorations and, and to, of course, there aren't many. No, very few, Just Alan. Few. Very, very great. few. Great was the word you used. Absolutely. Great Perfect. Was the word. Oh, but he's going to try to. Just to cover a little bit of those discolorations and give you a smooth, natural look. Well, let's do it. Absolutely. Lo más importante es que todos los, como las mujeres, tienen los hombres de igual manera de cuidarse la piel, deben de hacerse una limpieza mensual, un facial mensual. He recommends that a person, a gentleman as well as a lady, have a monthly facial, which is uh, the way to keep your... I, I would never have known that. It's the way to keep your skin healthy, clean, and youthful. Okay, well, we've got about five minutes to do all of this, so uh, we're going to get on with it. Vamos a comenzar con disimular las líneas de expresión. He's going to start now with trying to dis discreetly eliminate the lines. He's going to get rid of my crow's feet. Mm -hmm. So you never knew I had any because I've always had heavy makeup over that part of my face. Mm -hmm. All the behind the scenes secrets right here on Snapshot just for you. And of course Israel is a professional and it makes all the difference. Esto prácticamente es un gel que disimula eh, la profundidad de cada arruga. This is a gel form that uh, gives you a, an illusion of disguising the, the lines, you know, Now softening is, the lines. Would this be a particular makeup designed for television people, or would this be the makeup that perhaps you men could use to go to a party? Dice Israel, si esto, ¿crees que esto puede ser para un señor que vaya a una fiesta o que es especial para una persona en la televisión? Puede usarse las dos formas, o sea, el, el que va a una fiesta como el que va a hacer un trabajo en la televisión. He says it can be done both ways, uh, a look for a party as well as a TV makeup. And, and about how long will this process take? ¿Cuánto tiempo tarda normalmente? 20, 20, 25 minutos. 
about about 25 minutes. About 25 minutes. Okay, and we'll be back right after this, and you're going to see the results. Well, the job is just about done on my face. What do you think, huh? I think he has one more thing to do here with my eyebrows. So we're going to, uh, we're going to cut my eyebrows, right? You like That's it? the last step. Let's do it. Um, quiero hacer hincapié es que este maquillaje no se puede hacer para un trabajo normal diariamente. Esto es para casos muy especiales, para ir a un nightclub, o ir a una fiesta de noche, o un teatro. He wants to uh, let you know, Alan, that this makeup is really for a special occasion. Right, a man wouldn't want to just walk out. Uh, Not to the office. Except somebody who works on television, like myself. Absolutely. In certain cases, it's definitely called for. And people actually do come up to me when we're out doing shows and say, you know, that's, that's an awful lot of makeup you have on, but, but we need it here for television. So let's go ahead with the eyebrows, and, uh, and we'll finish up, and that'll be the finishing touch. Great. Quiero también re recomendarles que deben de cuidarse la piel usando las, crama, la, la, perdón, las cremas debidamente para el tipo de piel y hacerse su limpieza mensual que es muy importante para evitar las arrugas. Yo tengo 18 años usando crema y tengo 56 años. Pueden ver en mi cutis que no se me ven las líneas de expresión, pero esto depende mucho del cuidado que uno tenga con la piel. No I understood que, most of that about creams. No exactly what did... Uh, what did he say about Israel that? Israel said that uh, most importantly, uh, you should have a monthly situation for your face. You should have a monthly facial. And with that analysis, they'll tell you what creams and things you should use at home. Israel is 56 years old. You can see that he has no lines, Absolutely. no lines whatsoever, because he has always used creams and had facials. Well, so unfortunately, men get with we it. are running out of time, so we're going to have to finish this up. OK. And this is the finishing touch, folks. Final toque. And um, the audience has now had a really a real behind-the-scenes look at the whole world of hairstyling and, and uh, makeup and so on. And uh, Judy, he has uh, done what he called sculpt my face. He uh, gave it more perspective and more depth. Definitely. You look very nice. And uh, we'd like to call back in Rudy Magaldi from Rudy Magaldi's hairstylist. Judy, come on back on camera so the folks can see you. Oh, Thank you so much for uh, being our translator today. Well, it was a pleasure. It has, it has really been an experience for me. You can see the uh, less than drastic change, but most definite change in my hairstyle. And we thank you for joining us on this edition of Snapshot. Until next time, I'm your host, Alan Wolf, reminding you, Keep your focus right here on Snapshot. And again, let us know how you like it. We'll see you next time.